this is where I struggle with grace. I wrote a book on it because I needed it more than probably most. And this is where I really struggle, though, because I see cops are mo- you, you have more way more good cops and bad cops. And by the way, we appreciate all you do out there. I know that you're only hearing the heat and you're only hearing the hate, but we're grateful for you. And these are the people that show up and put in the hours and they get paid a pittance for it. And it's just infuriating. People act like they are they they forget they 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 don't understand civics. They act like they have not entered into a social contract and brought these people from their own community up to serve and protect. And the sad thing is, is that there's so many good cops out there, you never hear about the good stuff cops do. But when one cop does something bad, by damn, everybody gets blamed for it, don't they? You know, this, I mean, is it's just, it's, it's sad. It is, it's so sad. And that's why I said there's such good people. A lot of them are going to show up and they're going to do what they're going to do. I couldn't. And I wouldn't. That's me. I'm a little bit more extreme like that. Like that. There's just no way I, I, I would be able to. There's no way that I'd be putting my life on the line uh, so politicians could use me as speed bumps to grandstand. That's what Paul Howard is doing. The Atlanta DA is grandstanding on the backs of cops. This man is a failed excuse for a district attorney. I mean, that press conference, is this man high? How the hell are you going to sit here and tell me, oh, he was peaceful, even jovial. Was that when he was assaulting the officer and punching him in the side on camera? Or was that a jovial punch? He was sleeping in his car. Man was drunk, sleeping in a damn drive through blocking cars from even going into the drive through That's the whole reason that the cops were called. Someone at the restaurant, a citizen who pays the police, called the police to say, hey, I think this guy might be drunk. Can you come get him out of the drive through Let me tell you something. As a taxpayer who pays out the nose to the damn government because taxation is theft, I pay my fair share and I pay your all's fair share. So all those people screaming about it can take a million seats. I pay the cops as a taxpayer to get drunk people off the street. Drunk people like Rayshard Brooks. I pay the cops to do this. I pay the cops. That is what my tax dollars go for. They don't go towards Planned Parenthood. I mean, they do. I don't. That's not my choice. I am being robbed by the state. It is theft. They use it towards abortion on demand, and they pay cops at most $53,000 a year in salary. You could not pay me 50. They're better people than I am. $53,000 to put up with this crap. If you had, oh man, this is why I can't go for elected office because I don't have any tolerance for this. I'd be slapping the hell out of everybody every day. Who's she going to slap? Slap, slap, slap. You'd hear that sound more than you'd hear me talking. I don't have the tolerance to put up with this. You do something wrong, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's how it works. You, you blank around, you'll find out. This, this DA, he's grandstanding on the backs of cops because he's a failed corrupt politician. Stealing from nonprofits. Under investigation. I, look, I support y'all if you do a blue flu. 